slow today. Where is everybody? Is needing to get their hair cut. Shop clean for right now. Make sure everything is in order. Put that there. Okay. Good deal. What time is it? Ah, it's almost ten thirty. My uh. Brother's coming by with his nephew. Well, excuse me, my nephew. And uh, he needs to get his hair cut. This boy ain't had a haircut in probably about three, four years. Got my hands full. <laughs> Got my hands full. Zoom park now. <laughs> hey man, what's going on? How you doing? <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, no, no, no. Where, where's your son at? <laughs> Where? He in the car. Wrapping up a conversation with his girlfriend. Mm, what's going on with them? Hmm. They're going through it, huh? You want me to talk to him? Alright, I know, I know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Nothing you say even matters, does it? Hmm. Oh, no, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got it. I get it. Yeah, been there, done that. Understand. <laughs> Matter of fact, you you filled in for me a couple of times and I uh, had to bring the message a different way, so I get it. Nah. No problem, bro. Take care. Hey, just tell him, tell him to come in. Tell him to come in. Let me get off that phone. Matter of fact, tell him to leave the phone in the car. Just come on in. Okay. All right, bro. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Get this thing ready for this boy. <laughs> What's up, AJ? You knucklehead. Get on over here, boy. How you been? How you been? Good, 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 good. Good to see you. Yeah. Man, what's up with that head, boy? You ain't cut that thing in how many years? <sighs> and why do I get to be the privileged one right now to do it? Tell me, please. <laughs> okay, okay. Sports. They won't let you keep your hair. Your natural hair. Ain't that some crazy stuff? Okay, so you gotta get it down to regulation. Uh, all right, well, what is regulation? Hmm. That's a significant amount of loss of hair. On the top of your head. But, uh, I got you, bro. All right, come on, sit down. Sit on the chair. All right. I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> All right. Let's say how. Let's say how to eat an elephant. One bite at a time. Now, I know Afros came back and all, but uh, back in our day when we wore Afro, you at least try to keep it up a little bit. Good, gracious. All right, let's get to cutting. You know what? 
I think I like this other scissor better. Hold on. Let's brush that thing out first. What would you put in your hair? Nothing. If you're gonna try to grow your hair out like this, look, your your hair is weak. It's coming right off, right from the, the brush. Yeah, you gotta you gotta use moisturizer, conditioner. I mean you gotta you gotta really, really, really take care of your hair. Alright. We're going to get you back on the plan. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh, gotcha. We're going to get you back on track, all right? See, these has uh, teeth that also just kind of like comb through the hair at the same time that it's cutting. Uh, almost cut my finger there. stages because that's just a little bit too much going on here so while we're uh, kind of taking a little bit of break junior what's going on you uh your dad told me you haven't been really uh acting like yourself lately What's going on? Grades been dropping. Hmm. Well, losing weight too. Look at you. What's going on? Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Your first love. Look. Let me uh, let me share with you some things. You're you're 17 years old. Got your whole life ahead of you. Handsome. Yeah, you got this wild, crazy hair. <laughs> We're gonna fix that today. But uh, got a good head on your shoulders. People like you. Listen, you're 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 a valuable commodity. And uh, you can't go to pieces because one person has shifted their feelings toward you. Yeah. Look, they say uh, <laughs> there's other fish in the sea. There's water. Yeah, come on. Have a sip. Sit back and let me tell you a little story. Because when I was younger, I fell in love with this girl. She was older, and uh, she had a child. I was like about your age. She was in her late twenties, and uh, I thought she was the one. But, um, you know, just things happen sometimes and make you realize that, uh, 
you know, you're, you're trying your best, and it just seems like you're trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Just don't worry, buddy. But what happens is sometimes when you let go of something that shouldn't have even been in the first place, you make way. For the one, yeah, yeah, the one you're looking for. I know you think she's the one, but all evidence is showing you that she's not. And so you've got to make room. See what? Let me, let me share something with you. Playing cards. Life. Life is like playing cards. First and foremost, each card is unique. And just like people, just like people, each, each one of us is unique. And some, some cards go together and some don't. There's an order to the cards, and just like they can be shuffled, and when you shuffle, it makes it what? Unpredictable. That's life. Life is unpredictable. You think you're in love today? And yet circumstances change and all of a sudden everything you thought was in order. <laughs> 52 card pickup, buddy. Yeah, yeah. See, the other thing is that when we play cards, you gotta use strategy. You gotta, like chess, you gotta think ahead. And uh, that's life. Life, there's uh, a lot of challenges, but we got to, um, we gotta utilize strategy in order to, to advance. And sometimes that means even strategizing pain into your life. Yeah, I said it. Why would you do that? Well, you suffer for a little while. Maybe it would break up. You suffer. Because you don't want to be alone. But it's that alone that you need to make room for the right. Not the right now. The right one. Yeah. Nah, you're welcome, bro. You're welcome. I'm glad you're listening. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's cut that hair now. Making strides, but uh, it's time.
What was that? Oh, yeah. What did I do? Oh, man. I cried for days, boy. <laughs> I cried for days. Yeah. Man, when you... When your heart is broken, it hurts. But that's, that's what I was saying earlier. That That's the... That's the pain that you need. You don't like it. You don't want it. You don't ask for it. But you need it. Because what it does, it, it first of all, it, it cements the fact that this is over. And like I said, make room for that which is to come. But, um, yeah, it develops you, man. It makes you stronger. It helps you to see things. You, you're a little bit more alert when you kind of go through a few things, you know, because one of the things that, that happens is it gives you an awareness. Man, people aren't always what they seem to be, unfortunately. Yeah. So at some point you just really, uh, really, um, how do I put this? Gullible? Yeah, that's a good word, yeah. Yeah, gullible. Sometimes we're a little gullible, but uh, life experiences start to teach us some things, and so that's why I'm just, I'm trying to give it to you. You haven't gone through it, but I've been there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to hurt, honey. There's no way around the hurt. The only way through the hurt, the only way to get past the hurt is go through it. I wish I could give you a secret, secret recipe to get past it, but it's not gonna happen. But uh, I'll just say this: make that room for the right one, and put your time and your energy into becoming the right one for the right one. You hear me? Oh no, let me, let me say that again. You gotta become. Because if the, you find the right one and you haven't prepared yourself for the right one, the right one ain't gonna want you. <laughs> you. Yeah, all right, my man. No, any, anytime I'm here for you, all right? Yeah, Nev, always here for you. Yeah, you know you hope got your back. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, you want some money? And then you like peanuts. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I heard you coming. I went out and got some. Remember we used to go to Texas Roadhouse and they had the big barrels of peanuts and all that. And we just gorge out on peanuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll eat it for you. You know what? I'll eat it. Mmm. That's a bad piece. You know, sometimes they get the little ones that maybe went bad or something, and then they dry it all out, and that's not a good peanut. But, um, whatever. Mm. There we go. That made up for it. Listen. Finish your hair. But your money is no good here, okay? Matter of fact, uh, I got a little something for you. I missed your birthday last week, all right? Yeah. You know, I got you, son. Yeah. You're my nephew, but uh, since I ain't got no boys, you also my son. <laughs> Yeah, but no, no, it's all good. Let's finish this head up.
we just brush that down. Let me uh, do a little test. This has a ruler on it. Let's see if we're. Look at that. Even a quarter inch below regulation, and it still looks good. <laughs> yeah. I told you I got you, right? Come in here with that monstrosity. Don't do that again. First things first. All right. And I said your money's no good here. However, that don't mean you don't have to pay in another way. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna pay you. You know, I'm trying to expand my portfolio. You know, I've gotten into photography, and. Uh, I took a picture of you when you first came in, when you were walking in, okay? And uh, so I got the before picture. But I need to get an after picture, okay? And I'm going to pay you for it, right? I know it's, you know, you're modeling and all that, making money. Well, make make some, make a couple of dollars with your uncle, all right? Yeah, I'm going to throw this up on my website. My Facebook page. That, that the good old happy look, okay. All right now, there we go. One more time. I'm still trying to remember some of these buttons. Make sure I got it right. Appreciate your help, and uh, as promised, here you go. All right, good deal, good deal. Look, first of all, I just want to let you know before you leave out of here, Uncle's here for you if you need to talk. I know you're going through some things right now, and I, you know, hopefully, so I said some things that kind of give you some encouragement and all, but. Just because you're feeling better right now. I know you got to go back home and, and kind of get back in the bed. And sometimes our mind just starts wandering and, you know, we start um, getting back in that dark place. I just want you to know, Young's here. Call on me if you need me, all right? <laughs> yeah. When you're not strong, I need a friend. I'll help you carry on. Lean on me for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. And just call on me, brother. When everyone you need a hand, we all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'd understand. We all <laughs> put that phone away. Don't post that on no TikTok, okay? 
Tell your mama said hi and send my love to your sister. Bye. Take care. Yeah, you go ahead and just click on that video. That next video, please. Like, comment, subscribe right here. Pepper Day is tomorrow.